Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Summer is coming to an end and our children will be going back to school. A lot of us today, if you haven't already. So if you're like most parents, the thought of keeping them healthy is always top of mind. And here to tell us the things we need to know to have healthy, happy children is my friend, Dr. Yes. Frida Fisher, our friend now. Yeah. Well, Miss Frida, I, you know, I gotta, 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 gotta give, give the respect. Yes. Um, I, the first question is, is really challenging for me. Okay. Um, but I get mixed feelings. I mean, I get mixed opinions all the time. Immunizations. Mm. My son has autism. And so I worry about, you know, there's so much around immunizations being the reason behind autism or the symptoms of autism. What is your opinion? Because in one hand, you don't want to perpetuate the, you know, what he has. In the other hand, you don't want him to be unprotected. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. what do you, what, what do you suggest? So first off, as far as immunizations, they are actually one of the most effective preventive medicine issues that we have. Mm. Before the initiation of childhood immunizations, diseases like measles, mumps, rubella, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, polio, things we really don't see. Mm -hmm. These diseases used to kill mm -hmm. our children. Mm -hmm. They were debilitating, they were devastating. Ever since childhood immunizations have been initiated, these vaccine preventable illnesses mm -hmm. have declined by more than 90%. All right. So overall, immunizations are an excellent way to keep our children healthy okay. going back to school. Now for your question, it's a very serious, very important question because even though I just stated those st statistics, the reality when it comes to your own child is just a whole different thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of mothers who are concerned, especially with the autism or Guillain-Barre syndrome, or you wonder if the immunizations will overwhelm your child's right. immune system. Mm -hmm. The overwhelming evidence supports that the benefits of immunizations outweigh the risk. Now there was a study back in 1998 that leads to the autism. Mm -hmm. In that study, 12 children who had the MMR vaccination, yes. MMR, MMR. Yeah. they developed a gastrointestinal, a stomach, a gut infection. Mm -hmm. It led to encephalopathy, so there was a disorder in their brains. Oh my. And initially, they thought that the cause of their autism was MMR. Mm -hmm. Well, several years, several years later, they actually found that that study was fraudulent, mm -hmm. and they cannot say mm -hmm. that the immunizations caused it. Okay, okay. That being said, as we know, there's so much waxing and waning and flux in medicine. So when it comes to your child, all you have to do is be well informed, be well read, mm -hmm. and make the best decision you can make. Yeah. Because there are people who don't want immunizations because of religious reasons, mm -hmm. or they just don't want chemicals or things right, like that. Right, right. And I respect those mothers, I respect those parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The good thing is that because most people are immunized, there's something called herd immunity. Mm -hmm. Meaning when your child gets an immunization, it doesn't just protect her, but it protects other children mm -hmm. who either are not by choice or right. cannot be right. immunized. Right. Right. Okay. Because some people who have immunocompromised states, HIV, cannot get immunizations, mm -hmm. but we're still protected. Yeah. Right. So it's just a personal decision. For a lot of us, uh, today was the first day of school. I know you're ready to yes. met next week. Uh, you know, and there it is, the Petri dish of a whole bunch of stuff. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, we keep them from runny noses and all that stuff, because I know it's going to happen. I know yeah. yeah. do vitamins work. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 I give my kids vitamins, and sometimes it helps. Yeah. Let me tell you, I give my children vitamins mm -hmm. as well. I give them vitamins as well. One thing to remember is that it's important just to have basic hygiene. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, as mothers, we think our kids are so cute. Some moms <laughs> think it's funny <laughs> when your child sneezes in your face and you're, oh, he, 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 she's not right. going right. <laughs> It's not cute. Right. It's not cute. It's not. So even your young child needs to be taught basic hygiene. Cover your mouths when you sneeze. Not with your hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. But with your elbow. Right. Okay. That way you won't get germs in your hand and then right. go shake in somebody's hand. Mm -hmm. Also wash your hands. Mm -hmm. Use the sanitizing uh, Purell, mm -hmm. things that help with infection. Mm -hmm. Teach your kids not to share combs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Light share things, but yeah, that's, that's not true. your germs. Yes. Yeah, that's so true. basic hygiene, yeah. starting at early ages, will help yeah. to prevent infection. Yes, and constant reminders, this is how you do it. Right. Get the elbow on it. Right. Get the elbow on it. 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 Get
Doc, part of keeping our kids um, protected is, you know, making sure they have environments where they feel safe. Yes. Um, first of all, we know the kids can be very cool. Absolutely. How do we protect them from bullying? Yeah. So the bullying is a very big question because not only is there bullying in schools, but now that we have the internet, social yes. media, there's cyberbullying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to foster high self-esteem yes. in their children. Yes. Make sure they know that they're beautiful, that they know that yeah. they're smart, they know that they're yeah. capable, they know that there are no bounds to what they can do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also allow them to understand that it is not acceptable to be bullied and that they should go mm -hmm. and tell. It's not mm -hmm. called tattletelling, it's called reporting. Yes. 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 Reporting lies. That's what reporting my said. Reporting lies. Reporting lies. It's called reporting. Right now to the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the other thing is even if your child is not being bullied, teach them not to laugh or encourage other children. Right, right. Yeah. Here's a big one. I teach KJ. Teach your child not to be the bully. Oh, hello, right. somebody. Come, yeah. on. Come on, love. I think, I think our children are just so perfect mm -hmm. and they're great students and they're so respectful. Mm -hmm. But if your child sees someone who's different in class, mm -hmm. is your child important to mm -hmm. pick on them? Right. right. If there's someone who looks different, yeah. who dresses differently, yeah. is now, your child the bully? How do we actually keep tabs on our children's emotional state? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. you know, what are some of the signs? Because speaking of bullying, we see a lot of children are now succumbing to suicide. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yes. What are some of those warning signs, really quickly? Mm -hmm. Very good. So, some of the warning signs sleep changes. If your child is all of a sudden being an insomniac, they can't go to sleep. Or if they're sleeping right. all the time, mm -hmm. one in the afternoon, two in the afternoon, they just don't want to wake up. Depressed. They become isolated, mm -hmm. yeah. withdrawn. Things that they used to love to do. If they love to play basketball, and now they don't want to do They don't want to play. Right. They love to mm -hmm. sing, they love to dance. Not no interest. interest. Lack of interest. A loss of interest yes. is a big one. Mm -hmm. Also, if your child just starts saying goodbye, mm -hmm. calling people, texting people, giving these long goodbyes that don't seem to make right. sense. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Yeah. Great. This is good information. Yes. yes. This will be uh, one of many times you come down to the circle and have yes. some information. Absolutely. For more information on what we just talked about, please make sure you uh, follow us on our website or our social media platforms. Up next, Gospel's Young Superstars, and they are the Walls Group, will be here. Yes. Take